Welcome back everyone to my Let's Play of Dragon Warrior 3 for the Nintendo Entertainment System. We're going to be doing some exploration of the world, uh, mainly to uh, make sense of a bunch of the travel that we're about to be doing later on with the travel gates. So I'm just going to kind of go uh, over the overworld and kind of show where the travel gates are. Uh, that way when we're jumping around, uh, you'll have an idea of where we are in the world. So. We're going to start by basically going up the uh, eastern coast here of the uh, the Asian continent, basically. And there's a few places, uh, there's a few shrines along the way. Uh, we're going to be going down one river. Uh, we're going to visit a shrine that we were at earlier, but we couldn't explore it entirely because we didn't have the final key. And that shrine is going to be uh, very important because its location uh, is a clue to. Uh, one of the future quests, and it'll all make sense when uh, we start putting all the clues together. So I just figured, you know, this episode will be just us finding all these uh, different clues so that when we actually start doing the uh, what the clues want us to do, uh, doing that mission, uh, side quest, uh, I guess it won't be a side quest, it'll be just a basic quest, uh, we'll know how everything ties in. So, this is a... Uh, Really tough encounter zone here. We run into a bunch of those, uh, the craggles, the the squid, the squids that uh, get hit uh, twice. So yeah, around the coast you have uh, pretty uh, difficult encounters. So here's the it's called the shrine of the uh, Hobbit. Although there's a dwarf inside of it. I too once fought at the side of the brave hero Ortega. They said that when Ortega died, they said that Ortega died when he fell into a crater. But I know this I don't believe. This cat, if we say no to it, it meows, but if we say yes, from here goes south and explore the mist of the four mountains. There are uh, four mountains, and where the four mountains, uh, if you drew like a line, uh, where they would intersect, uh, the uh, that's where you can search in the forest to find a leaf of the world tree. So yeah, it's much harder to uh, find the... Uh, Leaf of the World Tree in this game than it is in uh, uh, Dragon Quest 2, because that one there was just a solitary tree on the middle of an island. This one, there's a whole big forest there, and uh, all four mountains, you can't see them uh, at the same time. So it's gonna be, uh, you'll see how I do it, but basically, you just have to line yourself up with uh, one of the mountains, because the other one lines up directly across from it, and then just head to the east or south. Uh, depending on which one you uh, line yourself up with, and uh, or west north, depending on which one you line up with, uh, and then uh, search uh, every few steps. So we have a tough enemy here, the Tort Dragon. It's like a turtle dragon, a turtle dragon. Uh, like we got that uh, uh, excellent move on it there, that uh, critical hit. They have really high defense, they can put you to sleep with a non-sleep spell, so you can't use stop spell to stop it. It's just one of those uh, sleep breaths. So, they're really bad when they come in groups. Okay, so here's, uh, like I said, the mountain. So we just step on that path, and then once the mountain disappears from view, uh, just start uh, searching uh, around, and eventually you'll find the leaf of the wall tree. It looks like it was two steps away from when the uh, mountain disappeared. So here's some uh, old friends who we didn't really necessarily uh, fight at, uh, the, at the time, uh, mainly the old hag there. Uh, we took out the lethal armors in the last episode, uh, we went up, the, went up the Arc Tower. The Bomb Crags, we were uh, defeating them with the Poison Needle trick. Now uh, we're strong enough that we should be able to take them out without them uh, uh, blowing up uh, on us. So, but uh, we didn't fight any of the uh, old hags there because uh, they're pretty difficult because uh, they didn't cast that Firebane spell. So usually when we ran into them, uh, we just uh, ran away. So we only wanted to fight the, the bomb crags when we were doing that leveling. Uh, we fought some of the other enemies there, uh, like the executioners, but that's because they only have like uh, you know, physical attacks. The old hangs there, that firebane can hit everybody, and 
Uh, we had no uh, protection against fire at that point in time. Uh, now at least three of our characters, Prince Oni, Sadie, and Indy, all have the magic armor. So, uh, fire damage is definitely reduced. So the bomb crags, uh, they don't do anything except once they get below 25% uh, of their health. Uh, down below 25% of the health, so basically at 125 hit points, uh, they will, uh, if, if their turn comes up, uh, they will just, uh, sacrifice themselves and deal massive damage, uh, to a character. So we can look like we can take out, uh, we can do more than 125 damage in a turn. So I've just mainly been, uh, just kind of keeping track of how many hit points it has. Uh, if I get kind of close to... You know, maybe like I was like at 150, I probably wouldn't attack with a Prince Oni. Uh, I would have probably just, uh, you know, maybe buy killed Prince Oni uh, and just hit him with somebody smaller to get him close to that uh, 125. Try to get him as close to 125 as possible uh, without going under it, and then finishing off that whole 125 in the next round. Bomb cranks are really slow, so you should be able to act uh, before them. So from out of nowhere, the plaintive voice is heard. And our ship gets pushed back. Uh, so we're gonna learn about this little uh, channel in a little bit here. This is the shrine that was north of the cave of Barada. Uh, when we were going to Barada. I found that there was a shrine jail in the middle of this lake. Uh, but we couldn't get anywhere with it because we, we couldn't do anything in it. Uh, because we didn't have the final key. We come here at night, there's a soldier there who uh, tells us about a jail. And we'll learn about uh, that jail from some of the other folks that we talked to. We have a bar here. This is the promontory of Olivia. This is where Olivia, despairing of her beloved, lost in a sea storm, flung herself to her death. They, even, they say that even now she cries out to ships to try to pass. If someone's gonna offer something from her, uh, lover Errol, her soul might be released. And Errol apparently is, uh, a phantom. We were lo we, uh, heard about a phantom ship. We're gonna learn a little bit more about, uh, that coming up. But here we have two travel gates. This, uh, is the first of, like, uh, there's, like, a triangle of, uh, travel gates. So there's this one. Uh, this is, uh, to, to north of, uh, North America, to the southeast is that New Tower building. This is basically called the Shrine, uh, south of Greenlad. Uh, and, uh, the one on the right will take us to, uh, an, our next major destination. Heading over to, uh, the left here takes us all the way back to, uh, the, uh, passageway between, uh, Romilly and uh, Portuga. So yeah, here's that little checkpoint there. Yeah, a long time ago when we uh, first going to uh, Portuga, uh, there was that door there we couldn't get into. Well, now we know where it goes to. So, like I said, our main destination will be uh, Samano uh, over to the right. We're not really going to uh, explore there for now. Like I said, I'm mainly just gathering clues and pointing stuff out here, uh, this episode, to make everything, uh, make sense. Alrighty. And like I said, this is like a, uh, like a triangle, so then there's a, another travel door over to the far right, and that would take us back to the promontory on Olivia. Apparently the personality of the King of Samano has changed. The, the hero sign be banished through the travel door on the right forever. So there's some hero named Simon who was banished through this door. Okay. And where does this door take us? Like I said, it takes us back to that uh, promenary, uh, the Olivia promenary. And like that barge said uh, in the upper room, there's a jail uh, somewhere in this lake. So it sounds like uh, Simon was exiled here it's probably in that jail. So we gotta find Simon. Why we have to find Simon? We don't know, but apparently we should uh, go look for Simon. But in order to get to Simon, we're going to have to find the Phantom Ship so that we can get uh, a relic from uh, Errol 
uh, that'll allow us to pass through that little uh, channel to get to the Shrine Jail. Now we're just gonna head back to Aliyah Hand because we're gonna head to Greenland. That's the last little clue place that we want to uh, hear about. But before we do that, I just wanna. Uh, here's another uh, shrine or travel door. We saw this a long, long time ago. Of course, we couldn't do anything because, of course, we didn't have the, the final key. This just takes us back to the lighthouse to the south of uh, Portuga. This is the one where we, uh, where that, uh, where we first ventured to when the guy said, Hey, head to the south. Give us an idea after we first got our ship. Let us know where to go. So yeah, it's kind of a pointless travel gate. But, uh... One thing, uh, it's interesting what the developers thought of, and I'm going to show it off here. If you try to get into a League Hand Castle during the night, the guards there say like, hey, the, the king is uh, already asleep, come back in the morning. Well, remember there's a way uh, into the castle from the Tower of Najima there to the south? Uh, what if the developers thought to block that way off at night? Let's find out. So he's got a lamp of darkness. Head on in, and let's just see. It's uh, it's just a little Easter egg. There's no real point to doing this. I just like to sometimes see if the developers thought of stuff like this. So, were they thinking ahead? Well, let's find out. Won't be long. This will take us to the castle jail. Oh, look, there's a guard there sleeping there. So yeah, you can't sneak in at night through the back door, uh, through the dungeon door. Yep, they thought of it. They thought of that, so. Alright, let's just get out of here real quick. And then we will uh, we t uh, head down uh, south uh, to uh, basically uh, Greenland. We were told that some uh, wizard lived there, so. Hey, let's uh, see what he has to say. We already saw that shot to the south of Greenland. We'll be using that to warp to Samano. Samano is uh, in basically in South America, and uh, it's land it's uh, blocked off uh, from the ocean by mountains along the coast. So you have to use the travel door to get to it. So, and we'll see that. Uh, I'll show that off in the next episode because we're going to be going up the uh, eastern coast there of uh, of uh, basically the. South American and North American continent, because we want to check out how Merchant's doing back in his village, because remember, uh, since we defeat the Orochi, the town will change. And we also want to head and get those, uh, the pirates. Uh, remember there's that one guy in the cell that we couldn't, uh, reach because we didn't have the, the final key at the time. So we're gonna go, uh, visit him as well. So these guys, we want to eventually farm them later on, uh, these Icemen, because they drop that magical hat that uh, cuts down uh, MP usage, uh, so that'll be the hat that we want to get for uh, both Sadie and Indy. And it drops pretty frequently. I've never had a problem getting getting it to drop, so it shouldn't take too too long to uh, to farm that off. So I'll probably do that uh, off screen, not between this uh, episode and the next episode. But uh, eventually, we're going to have to make a return to uh, Green uh, Lad here, and when we do, that's when I'll uh, just just farm that up. So now this uh, it looks like just a basically empty field, but we're just going to uh, head keep heading north, and eventually you'll run into uh, like a cottage, and then we'll head on in, and that'll be where the, uh, the wizard guy is, and we can't talk with him across the table for some reason. It's been many years since I've met another person. Let's see, when was the last time? It was that time the pirates came by and left a strange bone. Well, never mind. By the way, do you know anything about a staff of change? No, with that staff you can change your shape into anything you would like. I heard the King of Samano has it. Hmm. And if we tell him that we do know about the staff of change, he says, Really? Is that true? Well, that's what I want. So basically it sounds like he wants the staff of change we can get in Samano. And maybe then he'll give us that uh, strange item that the pirates gave him. So. I just turned it tonight though to see if he says anything differently, and he doesn't. So, uh, I just cut off the off screen of going to see him talk with him at night. 
Once again, there's that uh, shrine to uh, Green Lad. Or sound south of Green Lad. That's one that, in that triangle that takes you between the common area of Olivia, uh, that shrine, and then Shimano. So we'll be, uh, once we talk with uh, Merchant, uh, see how this town's doing, we're just a little bit away uh, from this, uh, from there. So basically, uh, we'll be heading from uh, Mochinville, which is actually the name of the village that they made, and uh, just heading up there to the north uh, west to head to Samano to go look for that Staff of Change. So yeah, it's a big complicated quest here, uh, and this is the, uh, the next, completing this quest is the next part in uh, determining uh, when the town Mochinville would advance again. So, that's why I want to check out Mochinville before we finish this quest, because otherwise we'll miss that one uh, expansion, so. Well, thanks for following along. Hope everything's going well. Take care of yourselves. Have a good day, and see you next episode. Bye.